Oh, hey there, wizard. You may want to check this out. We got some new stuff from OpsCore. Today, we'll be testing out the all new photochromic lenses for the OpsCore Step In Visor. And the OpsCore team keeps teasing us with these pretty much every year at SHOT Show. So I'm pretty excited to tear into them. So let's get to it and get started. So the lenses I'm showing you today, like the photochromic lenses, are actually an update to the feature set that they offer on the whole like step and visor setup. And we did a whole video on that and I'll link to it up here if you wanna find out more about that whole step and visor, how it connects up and all the other information. But the step and visor is a helmet connection system that allows you to swap out lenses, such as the photochromic we have here today, along with the dark tinted lenses, clear lenses, and these laser dazzle lenses. These ones are pretty awesome. And I'll say having used all those, like, yes, there is the feature where I could just swap out the lenses from the darks to the clears if I wanted to. But it also means taking everything apart, reconnecting all the gaskets, and then reconnecting all the bits onto my helmet. And doing all of that just because I changed from like a light area to a dark area or vice versa, just really isn't feasible. And that's really where these photochromic lenses come in. The photochromic lenses blend the tinted and clear to give you a single lens that can transition between both. By adding in UV light, the lenses shift from their clear state to their tinted state and back again in order to give the user a single solution for any environment. But just how fast do they transition? My son has a pair of glasses that do this, and to be honest, they do it pretty poorly. And I'll tell you right now that the little bit of testing I did prior to recording everything, there's a pretty stark difference between the civilian version. So let's get started with all of them and start looking at the actual photochromic lenses. And let's begin with that actual clear state and then work into the tinted state. Looking at the lens in the clear state, we see it's pretty similar to the standard clear lenses. The photochromic lens does have a light tint to it, but in the clear state, they still give you 85% light transmission. So almost the same light transmission as the clear lenses. And you'd be pretty hard pressed to notice that small amount of tint pretty much looking at anything. I found that even indoors or low light, the difference was, to my eyes, was imperceivable. All right, now let's look at the full tint mode. The photochromic get dark enough to only allow up to 20% of the light, whereas full tinted lenses get down to allowing only about 12 to 15%. And again, we see a small difference where the tinted lenses actually do block a little bit more of the light. But when I was using them, the difference is again, like, like I can't tell the difference between like 15% and 20%. Using both the full dark and full transition photochromic lenses, there's the slightest difference, but I mean, God, they look almost identical to me. And so what this means then is that there's this like 65% like tint range where the photochromic lenses can go from 80% clear down all the way to 20% dark. And they're so close to their dedicated counterparts of the clear and the tint, meaning users can move from dark areas into light and transition from clear protective lenses to tinted lenses. And it's solving a huge issue because it's so close to the clear and so close to the tint that now I don't need to swap lenses at all. Just use the photochromic ones all the time. But let's be completely honest, if they don't transition fast enough, then it really doesn't matter. So let's go test it. Now, one quick caveat, the speed of transition depends on two things. One, concentration of UV light, like how bright the day is. And two, relative temperature, how hot or how cold it is outside. So your environment and the test environment that these things were developed in and my yard may all vary in different performance levels. So Let's just see how they do and compare it to the actual like testing numbers. OpsCore claims a fairly fast transition speed of 20 seconds to full dark. And testing here, we got about the same result with the lenses beginning to transition almost immediately. In my testing, I got around the same baseline of 20 seconds, giving or taking a few seconds here and there with not really knowing if it had fully transitioned or not. And the thing to remember is you're noticing, like when you're wearing it, you're noticing the transition like almost immediately. It's not like wait 20 seconds and then flip and it's all engaged. Now though, without something to compare it to, I think some of this data can be useless. And as I mentioned, my son actually has a pair of transition lenses and I figured we could test with those. 
For comparison, the regular civilian lenses take about 35 seconds to transition over to full black. And at almost double the time, I can see why some civilians say that this whole technology is just kind of janky. But let's test going the other way, and let's see how we do going from dark to the clear state. Starting with our photochromic, we move into a dark area and the lenses begin to transition immediately. The movement is a bit slower now, and Opscore said it takes about 30 seconds to go back to full clear, and I found my results were pretty consistent with that. Again, though, it's very interesting as you walk into a dark room, as the whole lens starts to immediately change. You're not ever like walking into the room and then feeling like you're wearing sunglasses. And what's interesting is it's that last little bit of tint, like that bit you don't even really notice, that really takes the longest amount of time to fade away. Looking at our civilian lenses for comparison, moving from light to dark, I found this took ages. It was almost 45 seconds to get the majority of the transition, with it taking over a few minutes for that final tint to wear off the lenses. So we're seeing a far more usable system with the photochromic lenses than I'm seeing with any of the actual like civilian lenses that have the same features. I think that's pivotally important because I never felt like my son's glasses were ever really fast enough in their transition to really keep up with you know, the changes in the light. He'd be blinded when the sun came out and then be simultaneously blinded in the dark. Where the Opscore photochromic lenses work so insanely quickly to transition almost immediately when moving from either area, making sure you never have those blinded moments in those transitions. Now, one of the chief complaints I also heard about with photochromic lenses, and this is from both the military and civilians out there, is that the lenses don't transition if you're behind glass. So that means they don't transition if you're like driving a vehicle or you're like driving a boat and you're you know behind a windshield or something. As the glass blocks the light, you can see here that the civilian transition lenses are unchanged when they're placed behind a light source that's shielded by glass. Meaning then, even with transition lenses, if you like looked out a window to a bright sun, you'd just be like absolutely blinded. But since the photochromic lenses are actually UV activated, they do something pretty amazing. Doing the same behind the glass test, we place part of the lens in the sunlight behind the pane of glass. And here we see the exposed portion of the lens has changed to a darker shade. Meaning you could be in a vehicle, in a building with glass, on a boat, whatever, and the lenses are gonna react accordingly. With one small caveat. Many new panes of glass, such as car windshields, use newer technology in the form of UV coatings that can sometimes impede UV from reaching the lenses. Testing this in my newer vehicle, the lenses made a transition in the light, but it was a far fainter change compared to the obvious changes the lens made in an older vehicle. So be aware that the glass and the coating itself can kind of play into the performance of how well these lenses do indoors and in vehicles. Thankfully, most military vehicles have the cheapest everything possible, so I highly doubt they're gonna throw in some UV coating on the glass, so I bet they'll work just fine. Now, I think I'm just gonna skip my pros and cons because these things are just a massively huge pro with no real downsides. So let's do this shocker of my final thoughts on the photochromic lenses. The new Opscore photochromic lenses remove all the frustration of having to swap lenses when moving between dark and light environments, offering you a single product that can quickly and seamlessly do both. From the clarity of the clear to the shade of the tint, the photochromic lenses allow the user to transition from dark interiors to bright days and back again in a way that current products on the market just haven't seen before. Like if my son's lenses worked this fast, I'd be far more impressed with them. But I hope this review of the Opscore photochromic lenses was useful in your purchasing decisions. I wanna say thanks to all of our YouTube members and all of our Patreon supporters. You guys make it possible we can see all these sweet lenses and test all this stuff out and gear it all up on my helmet. And I wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below what you think about ballistic lenses and these photochromics. I wanna hear about it. All right, everyone, Walsh out. Meaning you could be in a vehicle or a glass with building or, thankfully, most military vehicles have the cheapest everything possible, so I think they'll work great and the standard probably just kill us panes of glass they have. I'll be honest, I could never decide if I wanted to use the clears or the darks, so I just, 
I just never even used the visor at all. So I'm probably gonna have a lot more eye protection now. All right, everybody, <laughs> go away. <laughs>